CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 151 through 155. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 151. A user requires a software solution for inputting text and numerical data to generate illustrative charts based on sales statistics. What type of software is most suited for this task? The answer is B. Visual diagramming software. Visual diagramming software allows users to input specific data, both text and numbers, and automatically converts these data points into visual representations, such as charts or graphs. This kind of software is specifically designed to handle and present statistical information in a visually appealing and easy-to-understand format, making it perfect for showcasing sales figures. Question 152. How many bytes does a 32-bit IP address contain? The answer is B. 4 bytes. A 32-bit IP address consists of 4 bytes because each byte is composed of 8 bits. By dividing the total number of bits, 32, by the number of bits in a byte, 8, we determine that an IP address contains 4 bytes of data. Question 153. A user accesses a laptop by entering a username and a complex password. Which of the following concepts does this scenario exemplify? The answer is D. Single-factor authentication. The scenario describes single-factor authentication because it involves only one factor for securing access, something you know. In this case, the knowledge factor is represented by the combination of a username and password. This method relies on a single factor for security, contrasting with multi-factor approaches that require two or more distinct factors of verification. Question 154. Which Wi-Fi security setting is least secure and would require a VPN in order to maintain secure connections on client devices? The answer is A. Open. The open Wi-Fi setting is the least secure because it doesn't encrypt traffic, leaving data sent over the network exposed and easily intercepted by malicious parties. In such an unsecured environment, using a VPN becomes essential as it creates a secure tunnel for data transmission, ensuring that the information remains encrypted and private despite the lack of security from the Wi-Fi setting itself. Question 155. Which language type allows for the fastest development of a program to perform an ad hoc task? The answer is C. Scripting language. Scripting languages are ideal for quickly developing programs for ad hoc tasks because they are designed for rapid writing and execution. They automate the routine tasks that would otherwise require complex programming, thus saving time and effort. Scripting languages don't require the lengthy compilation phase typical of other programming languages, allowing for immediate execution and efficient task handling, especially for standalone, simple tasks or scripts. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.